Hey, Planeswalkers, Mithras here. Hope you're doing well and staying safe. Welcome to today's episode of Top Deck. We are covering a number one Sultai Yorian deck, also control technically, uh, by Crows. So congratulations, Crows, on hitting the number one spot. And I appreciate everyone tuning in for today's video. We do have a lot coming your way, so please feel free to check out the timestamps down below where we're gonna cover the deck list strategy quickly touch on the deck, the how-to guide and sideboard, and then we're gonna go play some competitive magic here in both best of one and best of three with this deck. Now, if you do have questions or comments, please let me know down below. Additionally, there's a couple crafts in here um, that I'll talk about, and then I'm gonna switch out for you too so you guys can see exactly how I think um, and give you some other ideas uh, today as well. So with that said, Planeswalkers, I truly appreciate your support. Please feel free to subscribe to the channel down over there. Additionally, like the video if you like it. You can like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter and Twitch as well. So as we get into it here, the objective and the strategy of this deck, uh, again, it's a Sultai Yorian deck, so it's all built around uh, Yorian here with this guy, uh, allows you to blink things. And then additionally, Sultai giving us the green, the black, and the blue color combo. Um, we're really splashing for green in the main board here for buying the old gods, which is a new card um, where we can either take out a permanent, thin our deck, and then also get um, death touch with our creatures we also have the ability to pull pull chronos uh, back from the graveyard if we need uh, and another splash for green for this one where we can fight creatures with this guy and exile other cards like i said with the escape here so this gives us a big body and an out uh, in terms of finishing. This deck is really about shutting down your opponents either with counters here, mostly as you can see, everything is crucial in the two drop slot. Um, and then either gaining at the top level here for many or exiling a two for one kind of card deal. And then you can always pump uh, a shark uh, towards the late game or play this and then continue to build off your board state with, uh, with spells and those kinds of things. And create some more of those flying flying sharks um so that is really what this is about additionally here we have Valky, god of lies also tybalt this guy is a crusher on the top end um so one you can not only see your opponent's hand with the two one drop here um you can also become that card uh with Valky, or you can play tybalt um and continue to exile um uh, cards from from your opponent and yourself and have that ability to play those and then if you do hit their uh, table to ultimate there you can exile all cards from graveyards so very powerful in terms of options um i am going to switch this up slightly i'm going to pop out two valkies here so i can save on the craft i'm going to i'm going to pop an ashiok and then additionally on the lands we have a ton of lands going on here and happening uh with new pathways um really really strengthening salti here um, but i'm also so going to pop out two of these um, and throw in some Scrylands here in a moment. So that is the strategy of this deck. That is the objective of this deck. It's about locking down your opponents, controlling your opponents, replaying and blanking the value with Yorian, and then additionally being able to do a uh, one to many, I call it, in terms of card trade or board trade, uh, as well as on the top and play some really really big sharks so this is really this deck is really came around to fight the sultai emergent mirror matches um absolutely stomps them um so really really looking forward to that today potentially in best of three we'll see we'll see what we hit there um, but certainly has answers uh for all kinds of stuff and also one of the decks that i think um already before we get into playing um is is going to be positioned very well uh in the new in the new meta here. So with that Planeswalkers, let's go ahead and dive into the sideboard. That is the main board kind of at a high level. We obviously have a lot of counters and kill spells. Um, we got draw ability uh, and so forth. And then a lot of things that we can play at the top in there to kind of uh, seal the deal and manage the match for us. Um, so when it comes to sideboard, we have cling to dust. We got duress. We have mystical dispute, soul shatter, extinction event, Toski, Bearer of Secrets, Shadows Verdict, and Elder Gargaroth. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually, instead of killing all the cards, um, I'm gonna hop right into how you're gonna line up between the aggro, the mid-range, and the late game lineup. Uh, so what you're gonna do against the aggro, if anything, maybe you'll throw in an Extinction Event, maybe you'll throw in Toski, 
um, for card draw, Shadow's Verdict is great. You may even want to consider throwing Elder Gargaroth at the top end um, for that space. What I would look to move out, honestly, is some of these higher level um, spells that, that are, are not specific to aggro decks like Disdainful Stroke. You can still keep some of your other ones in there. You might want to dump Negates as well um, and keep some of your other counters or flip in a Mystical Dispute um, that's going to give you that value. So that's what I would do in the aggro matchup. These are going to be decks like Mono Red, Mono Red Snow, um, Boros, Aggro, uh, Mono White Life Gain, those kinds of decks, or Mono White Aggro as well. Um, you could consider the Gruel Aggro deck in that space as well, but that's also a good segue for us to talk about mid-range. So in the mid-range space, um, we're going to think about it in two ways. One, if it's more aggro based and creature-based, certainly the stuff that we already talked about, but if it's more on the kill side or control side, what you're going to want to look to do is probably pull in a Duress, Mystical Dispute, um, and then additionally what I would consider doing is bringing in some bigger bodies. Um, even though it sounds weird, just putting something on the board if they don't have that answer is going to help you close that deal deal in that match a little bit faster. Clings are good too if they are playing more of that... Um, that rock dose mid range and using escape and those kinds of things clings what you're going to want to toss in there so that's going to help you out in those mid range battles that could be like a sultai mid range it, it could be the gruel aggro like i said potentially some of those counter decks um ultimatum decks potentially um and i'm talking about the ramp decks and we generally i would look at those as a segue also for us into our late game so when we talk about the late game it's more likely going to be duress mystical dispute um i still like uh elder elder gargaroth they also like toski bearer secrets i would then to look to remove certain things uh potentially uh alt eliminate in terms of kill spell because you're not going to gain as much value similar to the mid-range side that's where i would consider um, and then maybe something like an extinction event or shadows verdict then you're going to pull in some of these other cards that are going to give you uh, much more value late game is going to be mirror match uh with with this you could consider the emergent deck alt other ultimatum deck with teamer as well um, also just in general some of those other control decks uh, that you might bump into and run into so Planeswalkers, that is the aggro lineup. That's the mid-range lineup, and that's the late game lineup. Um, that is also the deck at a quick clip there for us today. Again, if you have questions or comments, let me know down below. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead now and hop into some competitive magic, but before we do, as I said, I'm gonna clean this up. Um, and for those of you um, that wanna go down below in the description and grab the deck, I'll make sure that that list, the original list was there, and then obviously you guys can see um, what i'm what i'm pulling as well here and feel free to uh leverage leverage those cards um and go from there so we'll make this real quick and painless for you here today and then we're going to hop right into uh some of these awesome awesome battles that i'm certainly excited for us um to be uh, doing with this deck um, as i said it was something i've been looking forward to let's pop those styles on and then we're gonna go from there my friends so let's hop into it and go play some competitive magic here with this number one sultai yorian control deck by crows so congratulations again crows um, yesterday we did this top 30 jeskai flyers deck you guys certainly check that one out um, supposed to be a little bit more aggro -y, and then obviously the archetype uh, for flyer so but today we are playing the uh oops, the Sultai Yorian deck also, like I said, I, it's more control. So let's go ahead and get moving here. Planeswalkers, as always, a huge thank you. Um, I truly appreciate your support. So please feel free to subscribe down over there. Additionally, like the video if you like it. You can like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter and Twitch uh, to stay up to date. Other great ways for us to interact. Um, I go first. We got an Eliminate. We aren't going to hit the color. I will actually keep this. Um, actually, we got enough there. I thought that maybe that was a payload for a second. Um, negates aren't going to be super helpful, I don't think. Maybe I'll be wrong. Hopefully, I'll be wrong. Uh, but we'll find out pretty quickly. Um, so as I was saying, uh, other great ways to support the channel down below uh, in the description. So that will become a problem. I'll take it off now. Ooh, Boros. There we go. Put 
probably could have waited, but don't want them to drop another one of those little puppies there on us and um, create some problems. So good news is with Scalds here, we can counter with the negates, which is going to be big. There it is. And we'll keep both of those. Let's go grab another black. I wonder if you're brave enough. We'll do our plus one. So they can tap down with Giant Killer or they can play Scalds is what's going to happen. Um, what I want to do is maybe potentially pull Yorian over next turn. Um, so we'll see if we can we can pull that off here. The most solid is what we got going on here, my friends. So they can obviously drop the Faceless Haven as well if they want, which is what they might be doing. There you go. Now they, they're not going to be able to tap down because Giant Killer takes two. Ah, there you go. Now you can tap on the attack. That's right, because Vigilance. Well done. Well done. I will be sated elsewhere. We'll keep that up. So they can keep playing that game if they want. That we will take. And the auto tapper killed them there. That doesn't help us. That's not going to help. Let's look. We'll take both of those. Playing, I don't mind. Now, the other thing with the eliminate is it will allow me to hit the faceless haven um so this is something i need to consider those I'm going to keep this back for now still um, because in case they run two and let's grab Valky and ooh, we could double Valky uh, shark type one, two, three, four, five. We're a little short. Um, shoot. I might keep both those though. There we go. Okay. 
costs 40 equip, so Maul's not going to work on Faceless there. I will block. So what do we want to do here? One, two, three, four, five. We can pull from them. It's not going to help. Let's do this. I think we put this on the board at this point. Keep that one up. Now I can use Eliminate Heartless Act and I can use Cling to Dust if we need. The most solid. Let's see what we can do here. So the double Valky, I probably could have just went with one. Um, that's fine. So I will take this guy off. And what do we want? Three life, otherwise we draw. Oh, what do I want to do? Probably take the three. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's say give me one, two, three, four, five, six. We can make that a four, four. We'll actually do that. Let's go here. Exile target creature. And we can play it. Good thing we got two Valkies. So let's see here. We'll go plus two. Make no mistake. I'm not we can play our red. Uh, we got heartless acts now, so that's good. Um, we can always play this. We can attack in with that guy. 
Uh oh, but I need to play white. Ah. That was bad. That was a mistake. We'll take that guy off. Oh, they knew they were done. Look at that. Velky for the win to Tybalt. Woo! Very, very strong, my friends. Very strong. All right, let's go into our next match. And I had a little bit of hiccup there uh, in terms of that color lineup and... Probably didn't need the second Valk either, but that's okay. And the uh, negates came into huge, huge play there. So let's go ahead and we'll play another one here uh, in best of one. Why McLovin it is. Why McLovin. All right, so this I can keep. We can play the black. We go first. We get good, good play here. Um, yeah, that's first into that i'm actually gonna go maze mind tomb so it looks like an is it tempo deck now i will look let's go full control so that on the top of the stack we can look with our maze mind it's be very important that we get to look at our draw that we don't need as much as I want that. There we go. We will now play this. And we'll pull those two. Perfect. We'll get the crusher off. Go find a land. That's fine. Now we can start saving the maze mine for when we need it. So we'll crack that because they're tempo so they're gonna have counter spells here for that we got one two three four five six So ultimately what we want to have happen here is they unload enough counter spells so that we can drop Shadow's Verdict or run out of mana. That's good to me.
Oh, we'll take both those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's go grab a blue. Got plenty of black here. Ooh, now that does, now the shadow's verdict doesn't help me. Wow, maybe it's not a full tempo deck. I don't know. I don't know. It's a lot of stuff that they're letting go through here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Probably have a counter for this. Oh, no. Keep both of those. That one will go down. You can counter that. There we go. Ooh, there we go. Maybe they have a burn here. Yep, that's fine. We got this, though. We'll see. Now I wish I would have had the other one. That's a bummer. If I would have kept, if I would have kept the uh, the other one, I could have countered that. <laughs> would have made a big difference. All right, let's see here. Let's go grab something. We might have already pulled everything too. Oh no, we got a few things. Let's grab our blue friend here again. Can 
can always crack the omens if we need to as well. So we can keep that in mind. We got plenty of counter spells here for the time being. We could just clean house on their graveyard. I will actually all on the gate that one. See now, Ashiok's good in this spot too. There we go. We're good. Woo, 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 woo. Very, very nice, very solid here. All right, let's go into the next one. One more best of one, and then we're gonna jump into our best of three here, my friends. Pah, spoil it is. All right, I'll keep it. I like it. We'll see if we hit our Tybalt trickery deck that we've been hitting. <gasps> could be, could be. We'll see. Or maybe it's mono red because it's Gabos. <laughs> oh, dang it. So we'll go blue. Do I want that is the question. Well, we could. We're at four or five. Do I put the value on now is the question. I think I do, because we're going to go extinction event either way. And let's keep looking. So here we're going even. I can keep that one. Six, we're in trouble. We are in trouble. So I have to do this.
close, very close. If we had the right, uh, if we didn't have too many tap lands there, uh, we could have we could have maybe got through that a little bit better. Um, certainly, certainly a good match, but that is one of the key weaknesses of this deck um, is going to be a solid mono red aggro deck or a solid aggro deck. We did do well against the Boros one, um, but we did have plenty, plenty of uh, of counters in hand. We did not have as many direct damage here. But again, this is, this is best of one, so very solid. Uh, nonetheless, very happy with those results today. Um, so let's go ahead here jump into our best of three so again to, re to recap um to recap here i'll wait a second um to recap i'll say that 10 times um uh, to recap there best of one we went two and one very powerful um played very well we lost to a mono red deck in the third matchup which um in all honesty is going to be the harder harder matchup in my opinion uh for some late game decks is a solid aggro deck um and that's certainly what we hit uh traditional standard ranked again there's the just guys flyer deck from yesterday you guys can check out today's number one salt eye control deck um so let's hop into it here uh, appreciate everyone again as always if you're tuning in we had a great run 2-1 and best of one with this deck um, last match against mono red had a little little extra tap challenge i'll just say with the mana base but that's okay um, and always appreciate the support so please feel free to subscribe down over there and like the video uh, my friends if you like it let's see what we got here oh you're in so we're, we're keeping that we're keeping that because we got all counters this is gonna be a counter magic game uh, maybe we'll find out, but most likely it will be. Um, great way to support the channel down below, my friends. Stubs, awesome, always. Thank you. Uh, really, really appreciate it. All right, Velki, let's hit him early. So there it is. You have it. Dimmer control. against a Sultai control deck. So either uh, we let them play the Omen, they can look, uh, which I'll let them do, because I just want to keep the Exile off the board, that's fine. So now we'll make use of this one. And then if they have a slip, they'll get the slip through, but that's okay. I don't know if it's worth a double counter, huh? I don't know. Maybe it is. I'll pull it over. I'll use one so that they use one of theirs up. And then I can get something else on the board if I need to. Better plays Jawari here. There you go. One, two, three, five.
we would have had a mana and I could have got that on the board, that would have been the way to go. But it was not what we hit. Alas. Now, they could be playing. They have Zagath Trium in there. So here, the the um, Elder Gargaros will be valuable for us, too. Um, I just don't know. We're not going to get as much value out of it, so let's try it. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. If they have a land, I was banking that they had a land... They could they could cast Yorian anyway, and then I could have tried to disdainful stroke it. Yeah, but they would have countered with the negate anyway. So they'll get they'll get some value out of the omen, which is fine. I'll attack in. Hopefully they'll start swinging in. There we go. That's what I wanted. As long as they don't have a kill spell. Because now I can go straight at it. That's a bummer. So what do we have here? They got five. Can't, they got the negate to protect it. We haven't seen anything big yet. They probably have an Ashiok, I would guess. Here we go. I would I would counter maze mine for sure. There you go. I'm gonna go for this. Five on. getting better better value than us right now unfortunately no, we're not they're playing a little bit faster let's grab the blue One, one too late. Could have grabbed a red for Valky there too. To Tibble. Oh, they're going to get so much value on us here. This would be a long match because it's control too. Certainly control.
Do I negate that? Can. Don't need those. Very unfortunate there. Oh. going to be if I can drop Tybalt before me. <laughs> There's the green. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's do it. We'll try for it. There we go. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Tybalt takes seven. I need two counters. Or Tibble than one.
All right, should we try it? Uh oh, uh oh. Do we get do we get our disdainful stroke out? No, doesn't work. That's too bad. Yorian main deck. There we go. So everything there was underneath, so they're probably still running. That's painful. That's so painful. One, two, three, four, five. Which time they got? 21, we're at 21. I knew that was going to happen, by the way. I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> We're in a very, very bad spot here. Um, so, we'll see. We'll go with the Gargaross. We're going to flip in a couple other things, too. Losing Polychronos destroyed us here. We're going to make them play it out, though.
We'll make two sharks. I'm actually surprised they didn't just play the Tybalt. Uh, to be honest. This is gonna take him forever just to just to finish me off here, huh? We're gonna get into hey, dangerous zone. Long, long mirror match. We'll keep that one. Oh my gosh, it's gonna go to 15 minutes. We'll just get a bunch of those big creatures. We'll dump out a bunch of stuff we don't need. Oh. Alright, next to combat again. We'll try and act like we have something. Oh my gosh, flooded. Flooded. Hey, we got a couple lands left. 31, where are they at? 19. 19 lands. Uh-oh, can we do it? Why didn't they play any of that? I don't know. Who knows? No, they got another one. Don't use the counter. <laughs> Clock doesn't matter. Let's pull. <gasps> When do we have eight? Proceed in my stead, Planeswalker. Seventeen, nineteen. Oh my gosh, another land. Another land, let's go then. Boom. All right. The 
Not dead yet, my friends. Not dead yet. Uh, okay. Now they're having fun. That's okay. That's okay. They think they can beat me faster next match, maybe. Who knows, man? All right, so you can you can certainly ultimate your Ashiok if you want, my friend. I have lethal. Now they're just burning their own clock. They have everything. You should have put me away five minutes ago. Five minutes ago, my friend. We're gonna get that out of here. Let's act like we can go grab something. Maybe we can. Oh, look at that top deck. <laughs> we'll make them keep going. We're going to make them earn it. We're going to make it earn it, earn it with the with the time clock here. There you go. Watch, they won't attack in again. That would be pretty funny. Ayo, Yuzuki, put me away, my friend. What? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? That's okay, I kind of like it. We'll just keep going. Maybe one of you guys can tell me what they're doing, because I'll I'll sit and click. They're they're roping me, giving me false sense of hope. Oh. Oh. Look at that. Maybe we go even, huh? We'll try it. <laughs> I really don't know what they're doing, but we'll take it. We'll let them play it out here. They're going to hit the 12. They're at 15. We'll make him pay one. <laughs> go, 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 clock five seconds. So nice. 
nice. So nice. Probably just have problems with the UI and can't even see everything that they have. <laughs> Which is just fine. And kind of funny. I don't know what's going on here. I don't think they have, they can only cast one a turn or something, so. It's just gonna keep worrying me. It's gonna worry me, you guys. Oh boy, flying sharks now. Double flying shark. Using my own tactic against me. Another one! <laughs> so many flying sharks. So little time, my friends. So little time. It'd be even funnier if we hit we had that verdict now and wipe the board, but we don't. They have enough counters anyway, so it's not like it's gonna do anything. I will take my Velky back. And we'll see if we can get him on the board. Oh, now they played something. <laughs> they finally played something. Oh, they got a little worried about Tybalt. Oh my gosh. This is this is gonna be hilarious. Oh I got nothing I can draw. Oh, never mind, we're good. Sixteen against thirteen. Get mine back. So it's kind of fun. <laughs> As it should be. Because it's kind of funny. I mean... 
Oh my god, they finally decided to do it with 12 minutes left. And then we say, good game. Oh, whew. now all we got to do is win. We got to do it fast. We got to do it real fast. We'll grab these two. We'll grab the Mystical Disputes, the Soul Shatters. We'll grab these guys and all these bad boys. We're going to dump. We're going to dump, dump, dump. Eliminates, gone. Uh, Heartless Axe, we can kind of keep. Those are gone. Extinction Events, gone. I don't need these. 82, 82, 82. We need these still. And the gates, we know where we got to play those. Uh, let's dump two Heartless Axe. I think we're good there. That's what we call a fast rack em and stack em for our sideboard. All right, my friends, let's see how this goes here. Oh, we're doing that. Let me grab my stream labs. I don't know if I can run both actually for Twitch. Oh boy. Um All right, so we'll play first. I'll keep this. Sons in a Velky there, we're okay. Oh, there we go. Uh, what do we want to do? I will play my four. The cycle's probably better, to be honest, though. Um, hmm. <laughs> you certainly didn't want me to look, huh? Let's go grab a uh, blue. Let's grab the red. Get them on their get them on their toes. Suck on here. One, two, three, four, five. Let's do this. We'll take a look.
There's my slip. One, two, three, four, five. So we do this. Uh, we can do two things. We could disdainful stroke it. Oh, we'll have to slip it either way. So I think we want to do... we do. Let's disdainful stroke and then we'll slip. There we go. So here's what we do now. So we drop Valky. Ooh. So we can steal his guy. I don't think that's the play yet though. Not yet. Not big enough yet. Double. I think we keep it. There we go. We're going to think, make them think like we have something. We're going to let it resolve. And then we're going to dig. There we go.
lock's going to be tight on this one. Let's grab black. So I'm going to lose this either way. So they can obviously play Valky here if they have a red, but they didn't. So let's see what we can get here. We'll take that. Don't know why they didn't counter that, actually. I need one counter. There we go. We can grab a regular land. Let's see if we can get another one off here. Ooh, there's all their stuff. So let's see if we can get Yorin to bounce. Good. Guess we could have pulled that and then did it. But that's all right. Two 
two big baddies now. We'll see here. Coma, there you go. Get out of here, Coma. And I'll drop this guy. And we'll go from there. Oh, you got value. You got value. Oh, there we go. There we go, fighting back, fighting back, my friends. We're going to play it. Fighting back. Let's see if I can get this up. I don't think I can. Ah, sorry, guys. I got people want trying to stream, too. All right, we'll keep this. I'm okay with it. Black, blue, green, you name it. Get the Toski on there. can take my Toski. No! No! What are you gonna take? That one makes me so sad, by the way. I want that guy. Oh, main decking, flipping in and a null. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, and I don't have enough counters right now is the problem. So let's do this. Ooh, I'll take both those. That's fine. It's still pricey. Four minutes. This is going to be a wire wire grinder, you guys.
Oh, we need to land. We need to land really badly. Four. I need to go two on this. No, I can't do that because I got to block and kill spells. There we go. We can look, but that's not what I need. Oh, it auto tapped wrong. Should have been black and red there. There you go, that works. Now we just gotta run them out of time. There's our land, black again. There we go. So we got two on that. We're gonna make sure that this taps the way it needs to tap. And we'll try and slip it. Ooh. And now we're gonna get hosed by our own one-off squirrel. Which is too bad. Really, really too bad. Let's see if we can get this off. Seagate, gates one, two, three, four, five. Let's get that out of there. Not a game winner yet. There comes their counter. Oh. Minute left. This is going to be super, super tight here. And they're going to get huge reloads. Huge, huge reloads. Oh, clock burned down. 
we need to get some stuff on the board here. They hit a counter again. Oh, no. seconds Three, two, we'll counter our own guy. It's gonna go right in our graveyard. Bing! Why you do not play around, my friend? We closed it out. Look at that. That is why you don't rope. And that is why you don't get cocky with your deck. All right, Planeswalkers, there we go. We have it. We closed her down with the Yorian Soltai deck. Now, this is the number one deck, again, by Crows cranking home today for us. I made a couple changes that we talked about. Um, so let's go ahead here. Again, closing this out, Saltai Yorian control deck. We went two and one in best of one. We went one and O oh in best of three. Long mirror match. People are going to be playing this deck. Um, great one against the emergent decks as well. Um, overall, in terms of the meta, you know, it ran well in best of one. Probably going to end up somewhere in the middle. Um, Aggro is always king. Uh, it tends to be for best of one, but this could certainly be on the higher end. Even I would even be willing to go, depending on how big the uh, deck the decks are in terms of how many we get through, but potentially tier one. So um, Planeswalkers, and then in best of three, I know there's a lot of talk going on about this deck. Um, I certainly think this one's better than the emergent one. Um, I think this has the potential certainly to be a tier one deck. So we'll see what kind of evolves here um, over the short term. But I, I like this one much better than emergent. You got more options here. Um, would love to see just a salt I can Control deck without the Yorian, but obviously this one, this one does work and uh, does a lot of things. So again, the sideboard we talked about those changes I tossed in there, the Ashiok, and then some of the lands. You guys can certainly make those make those changes, and, and obviously the Valky and the Tibalt makes a huge difference. A Ashiok helped us a lot. Um, that that put it put Como away for us, made a huge game changer and difference. Um, I really like that a lot. So uh, Planeswalkers, with that said, Fast and Furious, best of one. A long, long match for best of three today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. A lot of fun. Much better than the last couple days. We got some of our luck back. So um, with that said, you guys take care. As always, huge thank yous. I truly appreciate your support. Please feel free to subscribe down over there. Additionally, like the video if you like it. You can like me on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter and Twitch. Stay up to date on content like this, my friends. All right. Until next time. We'll see you guys soon. Take care um, and stay safe. If you got questions or comments, let me know down below. Please feel free to hop in the Discord server, my friends. All right, Mithras out.